Hey, Prime 5 Math Rogers, this is Coach Saifu with your daily dose of Math Mastery. So, how are you doing? Yesterday's question was, seems, well at least it seems a bit difficult, but like I said before, the quote of the week is line by line, the answer is mine. So, read each line. So, for those of you who are waiting for me to answer this question, um, let's take a look at the question again. Alright, and the answer is... 38 and a half liters. So if you got your right, give yourself a high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. So, how do we do this question? Very, very easy. First off, you need to read the question line by line. So read the first line. Mr. Teo filled two seven of a tank with water. So imagine two over seven. So I'm going to draw a tank. Let's imagine the tank is rectangular. Okay, let's make oops. Okay, let's imagine this tank. It looks a bit like that. Okay. And oops. This is a tank, right? Okay. And how many parts are it equals to? How many parts are there? Seven. It says there's seven. So let's draw seven equal parts. One, two, three. Okay, that's not equal. <laughs> Four. Let's see me equal again. Five, six, and seven. It's okay. Okay, let's just imagine it's all equal. So, Mr. Teo filled two seven of a tank with water. How many parts did he fill? Two parts. So, let's just color this off. One and two. Okay, let's just make it clear. Okay, I'm going to make it bigger here so that you can see. So, it's one part here. And one, oops, and one part here. So this is filled with water. So the blue part is water, okay? So 2 over 7 of is filled with water. If he pours in another 8 and 1 quarter of water, the tank becomes how much full? Half full. Half full. So how do we do this? Okay, so let's imagine now that the, the, the tank is half full. So instead of 7 parts, it becomes, it looks a bit like this. So let's just draw an extension here, okay? So instead of like that, okay, let me just draw one more. Okay, let's imagine this is the same tank. Okay, the same tank. But instead of divided by two parts, I divide by seven parts, you actually have how many parts? You have two parts, correct? So one part here and one part, oops, sorry. And one part here. Okay, this is half, for example. So now the water level becomes this much. Okay, it becomes this much. Okay, I can't really color that much. Okay, so it becomes this much. So how much is eight and one quarter liters of water? So if you were to draw a line across from here, you will notice something very interesting. You will notice that This amount of water actually equals to, okay, let's just color this with a different color. This amount of water is actually equals to 8 and 1 quarter because that's the amount they said that they filled it in with, correct? So from here to here, all the way is 8 and 1 liters, 8 and 1 quarter liters of water. So 8 and 1 quarter liters. Okay, 8 and 1 over 4 liters. So the question is, how much water can the tank hold when it is completely full? So first off, we need to understand how many units equals to 8 and 1 quarter. So how, you, how do you do this? You take this amount, which is half right now, minus this amount, which is 2 over 7. So let's do the working right now. Half minus 2 over 7. Now, uh, primary 5 beverages, how do, we, how do we do something like this? All we have to do is multiply the bottoms to make it look the same. So times 7 here, you times 7 here, you get what? 7 over 14. And you times 2 here, because you want to make it look the same, it times 2 on top, equals to 4 over 14, which equals to what? 3 over 14. Now 3, is sorry, <laughs> 3 over 14. 3 over 14, okay, let's just erase this for a while. 3 over 14 equals to what? So 3 over 14 
equals to eight and one quarter. Good job. High five. You are a math prodigy. Awesome. So in other words, they're saying that three parts, okay, three over 14 parts. Let me just draw for you one more um, diagram here to make it look obvious. See, so yeah, they say that three over 14 parts actually equals to, let me just draw it very quickly, one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oops, thirteen, and fourteen, correct? So there are fourteen parts and they said that three of it actually equals to one, two, three, equals to eight and one quarter liters. Yes, correct? Understand this so far? Yes. Now, what you have to do is you have to find out what? What is the ability of the tank to fill in? What is the full capacity of the tank? So how much water can you put in all the tank? So the tank has now been divided into how many parts? 14 parts. So since you know 3 parts equals to 8 and 1 quarter, since 3 units equals to 8 and 1 quarter, what is 14 parts? 3 units equals to 8 and 1 quarter. First off, you have to find out what is 1 unit. So 1 unit equals to... 8 and 1 quarter divided by 3. Now, how we do how do we do this? Oh no, it looks very scary. So, all you have to do is actually take, um, make it look like, uh, make it look like a mixed uh, fraction. Okay? So, 8 times 4 equals to 8, 16, 24, 32. It becomes 33 plus 1, you get 33 over 4 divided by 3. Okay? 33 divided by 4 by 3 is also equals to what? Uh, so I think you might not know how to do this. I'm just going to draw it right down here. Okay. 33 over 4 divided by 3 actually equals to times 1 over 3. Okay. Why? Because you divide something and you want to make it look the same, you must always make sure that you flip it over. Okay. Flip it over. And hence, you just cancel this. 33 divided by 3 equals to 11. And hence the answer here is 11 over 4 liters per what? Per unit. Hence, all you have to do is find the answer of 12 units. Eh, sorry, it's 14 units. So the answer here is 11 over 4 times 14. So you use your you use long you use long multiplication and everything. And you find that you will get, uh, what's the answer here? 11 over 4 times 14. You will get 38 and a half liters. How do we do this? Let me bring my calculator out. Let me show you how to do it. 11 times 14 equals to 154. Okay, so you just take this out. Hey, where's my paper? Okay. 154 divided by 4. So 154 divided by 4. You do long division, you don't use calculator. Yeah. <laughs> equals to 38.5, which actually equals to 38 and a half liters. Okay? And that is the final answer. I know this might get a little confusing, especially this part. Okay? Divide by 3. Always remember, when you divide something by 3, okay, you can also make it look like times 1 over 3. With that, high five, you are a math prodigy. Good job. And this is a very difficult question, I think. Um, especially for if you don't know how to manipulate the fractions and everything. So, good job if you got it right. You are true math prodigy. Today's question of the day is very simple. Something to do with what I love, triangles. So, the height of a triangle is thrice. That means three times the length of its base. If the height is 36 cm, what is the area of the triangle? Remember, all you have to do is use the quote of the week, which is line by line, the answer is mine. Line by line, the answer is mine. Line by line, the answer is mine. So, read the first line. The height of a triangle is thrice the length of its base. Stop. If the height is 36 cm, stop. What is the area of the triangle? Very simple. So I'm gonna leave it you. I'm gonna leave you here with this quote of the week. Line by line, the answer is mine. High five. You are a math prodigy. Good job.